Alan, thousands of families tonight are living in homes that are not up to fire and building codes. Holly Samuel tells us why the place you think is safe could quickly go up in flames. It's impossible to know just how many houses are affected by this across the country, but this Kettering neighborhood learned about it the hard way. I spoke with the owners of this home in the 2900 block of Prentice Drive in the last hour. Right now they're making plans to rebuild. It was just two days ago that their house was consumed by flames in just minutes. Moments after the owner of this Prentice Drive home noticed smoke inside, Kettering fire crews arrived. While everyone made it out okay, it was too late to save the house. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. I felt like um, it, was, it was gone in 10 minutes. These forced us into uh, what we call a defensive operation. It's just too dangerous to put our, our folks in there. The charred remains show the problem. These homes, built in the 1950s, have walls and ceilings made of plywood, not drywall or plaster. They were varnished, uh, blacker, you know, stained, uh, been painted over many times in the course of you know, 50 years. Um, that just um, puts a tremendous amount of uh, fuel load inside these houses. According to the state fire marshal's office, there was no residential building code in the 50s. And even today, fire codes generally don't apply to homes. So this neighborhood, built when the Delphi plant came to town, was largely not regulated for fire safety. It does worry me. It really worries me. Dorenda Seifert was forced out of her home as the one next door burned. Her vinyl siding shows the heat of the fire, but her home has been remodeled. The plywood walls replaced with drywall. Chief Miles says the law does not allow the fire department to require that that material be upgraded. You got what you got, I guess. When you buy it, you buy as is and, you know, just do what you can do. But right now, not a whole lot of people can even keep their homes, much less upgrade them. And, of course, in any home, the old standby still apply. Make sure you have a working smoke detector. Don't overload your electrical outlets. And make sure you have an escape route with at least two ways out and practice those. And in older homes, no matter what they're made of, it's always a good idea to have an electrician come out and check your wiring. In Kettering, Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.